Since Leon Rose became New York Knicks president back in 2020, it was clear from the start that he was going to do things just a little bit differently. And one of the major differences under Leon Rose was the way the media was communicated with. Really because Leon Rose would only make media appearances based on NBA regulations. If the NBA didn't mandate it, the Knicks were not going to be a part of it. And about a week ago, Adam Silver was taking comments from the media. And one media personnel asked him about why the New York Knicks did this and if there was going to be any regulations to stop them from doing it. And he gave a very interesting response. Not only that, but he also gave us comments on the Knicks and Raptors lawsuit. We're going to look into this and so much more today. Let's get started. Adam Silver was recently questioned about the New York Knicks and Leon Rose and how they handled their media appearances. As I said at the top of the show, Leon Rose and the New York Knicks do not play well with the New York media if it is not mandated for them to appear by the NBA, they are not showing up. If it's required, they'll be there. But if not, they're not going to make an appearance. Other NBA teams have press conferences. They make their owners, their GMs available to answer the hard-hitting questions. But with the Knicks, that's not always the case. Especially with the president, Leon Rose. Because Leon Rose will have interviews, but normally around and with other MSG personnel. So the interview feels more controlled and the media never gets the chance to ask him the questions that they really want to ask him, to hear his response, to hear his answers. And Adam Silver was recently asked about this about a week ago in an open forum where he was answering questions about the NBA. And Vincent Goodwill of Yahoo Sports asked him the following question. Roll the clip. Adam, you've stood in front of us multiple times since basically the pandemic has ended. Uh, here in New York, the Knicks, their decision maker hasn't stood forth in the public since he's taken position. What is the league standing on such a thing? Is there a particular policy that you can enact? Is there any pressure that you can put on a franchise to be publicly accountable? Well, in, in terms of being public account, publicly accountable, I don't think that's necessarily about what an organization chooses to say to the media. I mean, that's you all have a role to play in that and deciding um, how to cover a team and the, the, the point of view express. And, and of course, ultimately, the fans do too. I think that's where accountability lies. They haven't um, violated any of our league rules. Our league rules, um, the ones that have been collectively bargained, apply to players, which for the most part are the, the, the people that the fans are most focused on. Um, Certainly, from my standpoint and, and the league's, you know, we have a long track record of talking directly to the media and being transparent about the decisions we make. And then every team has to make its own decisions on how they want to operate. That was a great question, but also a very interesting response from Adam Silver. And of course, he stated what I basically said at the top of the show. The New York Knicks are not breaking any rules. They are doing exactly what the NBA is mandating and stating. And because of that, Adam Silver is not going to really do anything and not going to step in. Even at the end there, if you noticed, he said he's going to be transparent. And so is the NBA with what they're doing and the moves that they're making. That's how they're going to approach it. And they're going to set that example. And they want all NBA teams to follow suit. Does that mean each and every NBA team needs to do that? Absolutely not. Each and every NBA team has the ability to run its franchise and do exactly what it feels is the best course of action for them. And for right now with the New York Knicks and Leon Rose, they believe the best course of action is to have limited, extremely limited interaction with the New York media. It may not be the best way to handle it, but unfortunately, it's the way the Knicks are choosing to do so, and Adam Silver really can't reach in and handle the situation more than he's already doing. He's already putting forth an example of saying, this is what I'm doing, this is what I want everybody else to do, but it's up to every single NBA team to run its franchise the way it sees fit. And not only that, the media gets to make its decision on how an NBA franchise is being run. Not about how the New York Knicks are interacting or speaking with the media. That may play a part. But if that's not something that you have to go on, then you have to use everything else the New York Knicks are doing to judge them on. 
If they're not speaking to the media, then you have to judge them on their moves in free agency, in trades, their first round picks, who they're aiming at, who they're targeting, who they're looking to target. Those are the things you have to judge them on. And I think the New York Knicks know that. Sometimes the more they speak or the more anybody speaks, you can dig yourself in a hole that you can't climb out of. So maybe that could be a reason why Leon Rose and the New York Knicks don't do a lot of media appearances nowadays. Maybe that changes later on when they're really good, they win a championship maybe, or they become a consistent playoff team. But as of right now, Leon Rose does not want to run the New York Knicks in a way that has the New York media interacting with them each and every time on each and every move because maybe he feels that not each and every move deserves a press conference or to be celebrated. Maybe a move sometimes is a move and he doesn't want to explain why he made the move. And I can understand that to an extent. However, the fans always want to hear from the Knicks. We are always wondering the direction and I think it's up to the owner. Not even if you want to do it for the media. Do it for the fans. The fans that come out, that pay the money to support the team year in and year out, have press conferences and answer their questions. Answer the fans' questions. Because they still want to know sometimes the direction of the team, where we're headed, where we're going, what you're looking to do, when you're going to make moves. And if you're honest with the fans, especially in New York, they're going to respect you so much more. It would only benefit Leon Rose and the New York Knicks if they openly spoke to the fans. And it doesn't have to be each and every move or after each and every signing, but at least speak out each and every year, once a year. Make it your New York Knicks State of the Union announcement where you answer questions from the media, the fans, and you tell us where you think the New York Knicks are now and where you believe we're headed and how we get there. That means a lot to each and every fan and each and every media personnel. And I think it's a lot more than what's happening right now. That would be my only suggestion. However, you heard it from Adam Silver. How, however, you heard it from Adam Silver himself. He's not going to get involved in this situation. He's not going to do anything about the New York Knicks and how they're interacting with the New York media at this point in time. The Knicks are operating within the rules. And as long as they do that, nothing's really going to change. Adam Silver was also asked about the Toronto Raptors and their New York Knicks ongoing lawsuit. If you've been following the story, then you know exactly what I'm about to speak about. A former New York Knicks employee, Ike Azotam, has been alleged to steal proprietary files from the New York Knicks and send them over to the Raptors. But not only that, send them over to the Raptors' new head coach. When that information was found out, a lawsuit was filed by the New York Knicks against Toronto. And again, when Adam Silver was asked about this, he gave the following response regarding the lawsuit. Roll the clip. In that dispute, I don't know more than what I read in the complaint that was filed you know, in federal court. And so I don't have a sense yet of how egregious it is. And, and I haven't had an opportunity to see what the Raptors' response is. I think they're this ultimately may end up in front of me, so I think it's appropriate for me to withhold judgment. Essentially, that was a 23-second no comment by Adam Silver. He didn't really comment on it. He essentially said, I know about it. I've seen it. I've read the lawsuit, so I know as much as anybody else does in regards to that. But more than that, I don't know. And of course, I can't comment on it because it's likely going to be in my face at some point and I'm going to have to make a decision. And I hope because he said that he didn't know how egregious it was. It's egregious. If you read the lawsuit and you know the allegations, you know very well how egregious the claims and the allegations are here. If the claims here are true and Ike Azotam stole all of these files about player personnel, not only with the Knicks, but about other players that they also scouted, that is something to say about Toronto and their belief in their own staff. That's number one. Number two, taking files like that, regardless of anything, regardless if it happens all the time, if it is baked into a contract that you can't do something and you do the thing that you did and you weren't supposed to do it, you're going to get in trouble for it. There's going to be an issue for it. If you do more than find them, ask for more draft compensation, make an example out of them, 
it'll stop and dissuade other teams from trying to make those same moves. And if you do that, you might, you just might be able to help make the NBA just a little bit better when it comes to moves like this. It's up to you and the power is in your hands. You get to make the decision here. But I can't wait to see what your judgment is. Leave a comment below, guys. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this lawsuit is going to end up in the New York Knicks' favor? Or do you think at the end of the day, it's really going to lead to nothing? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you. But if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Knicks fans. Peace.